no. How, why right now would you want to come and pet my dog? This is not normal. They're not being protected at all. It's the government. It's just therapy. in a mall parking lot. As we leave before yeah. the unmarked black SUV comes up and starts taking us to a CIA black site. to understand this vlog for oh, show for oh, shizzle gotta see the prequel yeah <laughs> prequel that was a good one i will not lie i had a real big cry this morning i am stressed i'm worried i'm everything you can think of but you cannot tell and plus my well, sunglasses hides my poofy eyes so it works perfectly i'm not crying you are whatever I really don't know where to start. I don't know what to say. I'm nervous. I'm stressed. I honestly do not want to vlog. I don't want to camera on my face during this stressful moments and times of these appointments, but I definitely think this is educational. You know, me and Paul would love to start a family, and I think people would love to see how possibly difficult it could be for two people such as ourselves with chronic illnesses to produce a mini version of us. Bad self copy. Yeah. Now, I've said it in yesterday's vlog. I've had doctors say, yeah, you can definitely have a child, but you're just going to be high risk and we need to keep an eye on you like crazy. And then I have other doctors say, please don't have a child. You may die. So, um, you know, it's in the air. Well, we are on our way to the appointment and probably knowing this whole virus stuff, Paul can't come in, but hopefully when we get the results, he can come in. Who knows? I'm gonna pray and ask. <sighs> Guys, I'm just babbling on, so uh, let us drive and see how this goes. Hey everybody, now Janice is inside of her appointment, so I'm going to give you a quick little update on me, the most important person of this vlog, as well as Orion, the also most important person of this vlog. Right, Pop? He's a good boy. For those of you wondering why he actually isn't in the appointment with Janice, is for social distancing. He's cute. A lot of people want to come up and pet him, and some people do forget. There are some people who just don't care about social distancing as well. That's always going to happen. So just to avoid issues and conflicts and stuff like that, we just go ahead and leave him in the car, and that's it. It's happened to me where I'm walking him, because, you know, he, me and him go out on walks every morning, and people come up and be like, can I pet your dog? And I'm looking at them with this face like, no. How, why right now would you want to come and pet my dog? But anyways, I understand it's not a big deal, so that's besides the point. That's why he's actually not in there with with her. He's out here with me being a bestest boy. Right, pup? He says yes. So, quick update on the virus. What is going on in Florida? How is it affecting us? How many people have it? And in Florida, we're north of like 34,000 people with the virus. In central Florida, depending on what county you are, Orange, Osceola, Seminole, Polk, stuff like that. Those are, you know, some of the ones that make up Central Florida. Depending on the county, they have like four or five hundred up to like fifteen hundred. There are a few deaths here and there, but overall, is not as bad as what it could be. Honestly, when you compare it to like South Florida, that has like ten thousand, fifteen thousand people in like two counties. So it's doing relatively well. I know on May fourth, may the fourth be with you. They opened up some businesses this is the governor's choice so they lifted the stay-at-home order some counties are still keeping the curfew in place also not all businesses are going to open so bars nightclubs movie theaters those things are not going to open just yet some of the actual like retail locations 
They can, but they have restrictions on how many people are there allowed inside the actual store. And restaurants are allowed to open up for people to come both seat outside as well as inside and again with that same restriction of only like 25% maximum capacity and there has to be a distance in between every single person. I'm sorry that my shirt's all like whitewashed. The sun's coming in like right here so it looks like super, super bright. Oh, that was not very reassuring. Do I need to disinfect your phone or anything? Yeah, oh yeah, I need to just bathe. What happened? Oh, nothing. Well, why do you need to bathe? What happened? Uh, I just, there was, I literally had to touch it off. Like literally, once I got under, go use the bathroom. I'm touching a bunch of stuff with a glove and I'm like, they're not sterile anymore. Just took them off and I was like, from this right, point right, on, I just gotta wash, wash, your wash. phone here. Give me your ID. Well, you got to disinfect your hands now because you touched yeah, it. Yeah, I know, babe. Don't worry. I'd rather have the hand wipes. I hate hand sanitizer. Just a little bit more. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll give you the hand wipe here. Just put Clorox in my veins. Yeah. An IV Clorox drip. Mm -hmm. Trump says it's okay. <laughs> I, lo I love the nurse. How she instantly, like, I saw her. She's like, and I saw what she was doing. I was like, she's asking for a ride. Yeah. She's just like, she, it was funny. She didn't even say hi to me. She's like, where is he? It was cute. I was like, in the car, go, if you would like. Just ask my husband for permission. I didn't feel very reassured, honestly. Why? Because I've done this ultrasound with this lady many times. Okay. And usually in the end, she's like, you're doing, looking great. You know? This time I was like, sweet, done. Okay, just get out. You know, maybe it's because of the whole virus thing, but. Wait, you did the ultrasound already? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, oh I thought you just checked in. No, I feel like they uh, definitely saw something. I don't think they saw anything, baby. It's just they don't. They can't have people in there very long. You have to remember that. I thought you. Were, I thought the. I thought no, you really that was just it. checked in. No, that was it. Oh wow, that was okay. How bad though? Yeah, I think that was the fastest ultrasound I've ever done. It feels baby. like it takes half an hour to get this. Yeah, shit but done. the thing is, baby, you gotta remember that right now they don't want to here move because you like put your phone down here. Wait, the jeez! Why my hands? Honestly, just throw them here down where my feet is. Oh, I thought you meant my pants. I was like... Yeah, that too. Um, honey, we're not home yet. So we recorded all of this by accident. Hey guys, I am back. So as you guys saw, we forgot to stop recording. And you guys saw me come back in and talk a little bit. Uh, now, what I just did was a vaginal ultrasound. For all you girls out there, yes, that is a thing I never knew until I was in high school, yeah. I've always saw ultrasounds as, you know, over the belly, like pregnancy. No, no, no. And for you guys out there who don't know what a vaginal ultrasound is, I would like to use the words of my technician. She has a pretty long wand, and she calls it a wand, and you know, they, what, I don't, what kind, what's that cream that they add? It's it's like, like a, a lubrication. Like a form of lubrication. She puts a lot. Of course, there's a plastic over it. Sterile for me. And uh, kind of put that wand in you pretty far and deep to reach your ovaries. And she checked out both of my ovaries. The whole time she tells me, I'm touching your right one. I'm going to your left. And there was some discomfort. Yeah, just her like tickling it. I was like, ah. Damn. <laughs> the way you describe it. Yeah, it's not pleasant. Yeah, sorry ladies. I never knew of this, so all you girls out there, even when you're pregnant, you do get these ultrasounds too. I'm gonna have a creature inside me and I'm gonna have to have a stick inside me too. No, no thank you. I already got the one out of my butt. I don't need a new one. Well, I'm explaining all this. You have Orion and Paul here like woman problems. Pretty much, yeah. So this morning was a little hectic. As you guys saw, it was pretty scatterbrained before the appointment. I don't know what to do from here, but in a week we are gonna go back and get the results and see what's going on. It sucks. It's not a fun situation to have to go through, but I am here for you, babe. Thanks, Together we shall conquer the world. Thanks, baby. And Orion shall be our war horse we ride in on. Right, Pop? Alright guys, I honestly don't know what to do from here. Like I said, today was really emotionally draining, physically draining, mentally, and... I no, it's time to go home, take it easy. I won't lie guys, like, I'm trying to stay positive and motivated, but 
I am maybe like a piece of paper away from just breaking down. Uh, I know. Yeah, I'm that close from breaking down. But I am holding it together. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to be upset. All I can do is just wait and stay positive for the results. And I'm, I'm sure, I keep telling Janice, I am sure everything is going to be fine. There's no problems. And then it's time to celebrate. Sushi? sushi yeah. and rum and bourbon soft cheeses too while we're that as well <laughs> caffeine throw all the works in there shall we <laughs> all right guys we literally came up across something crazy so for those of you who do not know this is the fashion square mall yes the fashion square mall back in the day we i used to live by here when i was a kid was actually a really nice mall and over the last few years it has been horrendous like no one ever comes to this yeah, mall. Yeah, it's like officially closed down. Yeah, like it, it, this is this is not new. This is on a normal day it looks like this too. <laughs> okay, this isn't just because of the coronavirus. On a normal day it's like this. And we're here in the parking lot. Look at all this. Look guys. at this. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me take the camera. Look, look, look at it. Look, look at this. Put your window down. G give it to them. Give it to them. Look at this. This the parking lot is full of Dodge Durangos. And they have county plates, so these are all government vehicles, and they say driver education on the back. Now, some of you are probably gonna be like, look, and there's more over here. I mean, and guys, then there's another there's lot more. back there that has even more. You gotta go like over there more so they can see other cars. So, like, look at this. There's hundreds of vehicles of these Dodge Durangos here, and it is just insane. And look, here's another parking lot over here, and there's even more. So we decided to get down on a closer look. Now, yeah, I'm not gonna go touch anything or no. anything, but these all have county plates. They say driver education. Yeah, like why does it say, all of them say it. Guys, like this is insane. Driver education, driver education, driver education. But none of these cars are being used. And this is it. this goes on for freaking ever. Like there's even more over there. And like, you know what's like the, the weirder thing too? They have, some of them have been sitting here for a while, but some of them haven't because like, you can tell like the brake calipers, the rotors, when they start rusting is because they've been there for a while. These haven't. So here there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of cars. And that's just in this lot, not including all of those over there. Yeah. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 10 cars. Right here guys, so, 10 cars here. You know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60 cars just here. Okay. And guys, these are not being has protected. To be at least like another hundred, maybe two hundred. So think about it like this: these are all government vehicles. How much money is literally just sitting here? Yeah. And I get it. Okay, driver education. They have vehicles for whatever. That's fine. But why do you need this many Dodge Durangos for driver education? And if you're gonna teach somebody how to drive, teach them how to drive in a cheap car, not a thirty, forty thousand dollar SUV. It's just, it's just weird, guys. Like this is not normal. They're not being protected at it's all. It's the government. It's just in a mall parking lot. This That's is really insane. Good. Really funny. It's weird. It's not normal. And then, what makes us even more amazed is that we're all struggling, guys. Some of you guys probably got your stimulus check. Some of you guys probably didn't. Couldn't even qualify for one. But then you have all this. Like you see, they have county plates on them, so they're, they're government vehicles. Yeah. How much one of these cars cost? That's what it says. What? Hillsborough County Public Schools. Oh. Public why schools? Does, why does Hillsborough County Public School needs 200 Dodge Durangos in Orange County, Florida? Yeah, guys. This is a lot of cars. Um, there needs to be some answers here. Paul was getting upset. He's just like, seriously? Well, no, seriously? Think, think about it like this. How there's millions of dollars in cars here. These aren't the lowest trim levels either. So let's say if each one of these trucks had a discounted price, let's say 30 grand. That's a million dollars right there. There's another there's a million dollars in each row of these cars. And there's a lot of rows of cars. So imagine there's millions and millions of dollars sitting here. But they took all this money out for apparently Hillsborough County Public Schools needs all of these, but they don't reinvest the money into things that are a little bit more important, like maybe the actual schools. Oh, that's Learning good materials, point. paying teachers a little bit more for what they the 
a ridiculously hard job they actually have of teaching children and dealing with all of our children. We support you teachers! So we're back in the car. As we leave before yeah. the unmarked black SUV comes up and starts taking us to a CIA black site. Yeah, literally no lie. We're just like, okay, time to go. It's just not It, it just makes no sense to have this amount of vehicles and like if you know why they would need my estimate there is a hundred here at least because there's more rows down that way and there's a parking lot another parking lot gated that has even more inside there has to be at least 200 maybe 250 cars here yeah. so we got a lot more over there guys all right guys it's not the mall being busy i mean it's the no, exact the same yeah. cars and a lot of them don't even have plates of like the county on there but yeah. there's a coincidence that there are a lot of these other ones that do have the plates so yeah you know it's a lot it's like its own dealership yeah but of the same car yeah see guys that's all of the same and cars. then there's a parking lot behind it behind those bushes that has even more cars yeah the exact same all Dodge Durango's but it's gated in so we can't get in there so it's it's crazy it this is. is really another level let's see what else we find around right. this mall this is pretty fun let's give the if this is really for the public schools for kids then give them the dang cars you know, after they graduate, you know, here's a great graduation present from your alumni school. Isn't that nice, though? Or, or let the teachers be like, here, here's your company car. Oh, my God. Right? Give it to the teachers. That's a good idea. Well, Crap, babe. 250 trucks there, at least. Babe, dang, that was a smart idea. Whoever's in charge of all those vehicles just leaves them there, unprotected. Like, and they're really spread out, too. Yeah. Because from a, from a security standpoint, you know, spreading out your vehicles really far is going to be harder to protect it to be able to see everything because, you know, when you park a vehicle there for an extended amount of time, someone's going to come and steal something from it. Whether it be the tires and rims, it can be replacement parts, you know, that that's just going to happen. So, it's kind of weird how they have them so many, but... Guys, please don't worry. We will not be stealing, okay? Yeah, I know. We're, I'm not going to do that. But guys, tell us what you think. Tell us if you think the government is planning something. There's or, something fishy going on in Florida. Or if you just legitimately know what those vehicles are used for. But, uh, yeah. it's uh, Driver's education. That's what it says on the vehicle. We got to trust the label that's always on. It tells 100% the truth. Yeah. That's funny. Hey, guys. We are back home. Hi! Literally, Paul was amazing. We were driving around Thanks, all over Orlando for like two hours, just driving. Because, you know, I had a lot on my mind. You know, the appointment really had me on the brink of, of a breakdown, so I needed that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Of course, because I love you. Only because I love her. Because if not, I would be with Pup. Guys, I really don't know how to handle my stress. Nope. I really don't. I feel like I could be relaxing and I'm not. I'm starting to have an issue with my ankles or my feet that randomly they just stiffen. And I could be eating, doing anything, laying, chilling, relaxing in my feet. All the stress is just there and I can't move. And I literally walk by like, babe, relax your feet. She's like, oh, sorry. And he was just letting me know last night while I was sleeping, I kept doing it. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I actually wake up in the middle of the night, my feet are tense and it hurts and I have to try to relax. So Paul came up with a great idea and he's like, I think we should start trying to do yoga, see if it helps. I'm just so overwhelmed. It's a stressful time, but we're here together trying to make sure we do everything positive. So guys, we're both going to take it easy. It's been a little bit much today and learn how to relieve our stress and relax. That's what today is going to be about. Yep. Gotta start learning. So, guys, for now, adieu and goodbye.